Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolo has been widely criticized for approving 7.5 million naira to replace liquid fragrance in his office and 3 billion naira to purchase rechargeable funds for the office of his deputy Obafemi Amzat, in addition to other issues. Also, criticism trailed other contracts awarded by the state's public procurement agency in the second and third quarters of 2023, which included approval of over 440 million naira for the purchase of a new Lexus LX600 bulletproof sport utility vehicle for use in the pool of the Office of the Chief of Staff. The government also approved 152 million for the restoration of water supply at Idungono Palace, the official palace of the official residence of the Oba of Lagos. While the deputy governor was awarded 30 million for monthly outreach to indigent students by his wife. Joining us now on this show as we review the procurement activities of Lagos State Government is Benga Moto Show, Commissioner for Lagos State and Okwe George, Commissioner for Planning and Budget, Lagos State. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you for having us. Well, yes. well the matter is on the table. It's in the public domain, triggered by uh, Mr. Funsho Doherty, the gubernatorial candidate of the ADC in the last election. And he said, he's speaking on the basis of facts, because what he put out there in the public domain, all taken from the website of the procurement agency of Lagos State. And there are two issues, actually. The second one has not been as loud, which is Badebo Rose Viva, also raising alarm over the weekend, that Mr. Babajide Sonwolu was using Lagos State money citizens' funds, taxpayers' money, to pay legal fees. So let's start with the procurement process in Lagos State. You know, I've given those details, but the one that concerns me is this distribution of chickens in local governments and wards in the office of the chief of staff. How did you guys distribute uh, uh, chickens across local governments and wards? And uh, we didn't see chicken in my own local government. <laughs> <laughs> Please, if somebody has collected my own chicken, I want it. <laughs> Let me start with you, <laughs> Commissioner for Budget and Planning. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning again, and thank you for having us. So, um, you know, in, in Lagos, we run a very transparent system. So the fact that everything we've done is actually situated on the PPA website, I think, is a, is a starting point. So there's a lot of transparency. Everything is there. Nothing is hidden. So in terms of um, these uh, comments you've, you've, you've made, um, you know, it's, I think that the challenge or the issue is in how things are put or classified. So when we're doing budgeting, for instance, we always do facts behind the figures. We then explain what, uh, what is behind the figures uh, we're, we're putting out there. So you talked about the fact of uh, the bulletproof uh, car. So it says bulletproof car for, the office, for chief of staff. It's not for the chief, it's the office of chief of staff. The office of chief of staff is 800 plus people various buildings, you know, and that car, for instance, it is car that's in the pool. So when we have visiting dignitaries, we recently had the German Chancellor who was in the States, who came into the States, you know, we have to provide. So these are things that are, are done. So it's not a, a car that is used by the Chief of Staff, it's a car that is in the pool, you know, which we use for dignitaries when they come in. And then these also translate to, you know, we look, for, we look after our dignitaries, we pick them up, they're things we just have to do. So that's, that is one example of, you know, in terms of classification and being able to explain a bit better those sort of uh, those sort of issues. Yeah, but tie about uh, thirty million to indigent citizens uh, for the wife of the deputy governor. Okay. People have uh, some indigent people that I saw yesterday. They, they are saying, "Where is their own?" Because they are indigent. Mm. Okay, so again, it's not uh, it's it's not uh, thirty million. It is it is it is for a whole year. So if you look at it and you say that's two point five million um, per month. And it's across various wards and various uh, local government areas and it's social protection. So, for instance, in this year, in our 2024 budget, for instance, we've ramped up a lot in, in terms of our social protection. We, we understand the fact that there are a lot of uh, economic hardships and realities out there. So we've increased the amount of money we've put in for social protection. So whilst we know that infrastructure and all this sort of uh, hard infrastructure we're building to try and ensure we keep up is, is important, we also try to ensure that we focus on our social protection as well. So it's not 30 million a, a, a month for, it's, it's spread over a year. So let's talk about accountability. Mm -hmm. I'm just hearing that you've got social protection. Yes, sir. Where are the people benefiting from the social protection? Who are they? 
Do you have a list? Do yes. you have a glossary? We, we, have, we have a social protection register. Yeah. You know, so uh, we also have... Can it be made public? Yes, we have, a social, it, it, we have it within the Ministry of Economic Climate Can it budget. be made public? Yes, it can be made public. Okay. Will it be made public? There's no reason why it can't be made okay. public. So it's that we ascertain these people and cross them with a the line item and the money disbursed. How much is disbursed to them? It depends on, on, on I mean, we have various, um, various uh, uh, cadres and various criteria for how we distribute our social protection. So, you know, for instance, if I tell you now, over the next couple of days, we have a, a scale 